Hi there. Now here we have a question based on the trapezium rule. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't uh, had a chance to read it before, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back you can check your work solution against mine. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Well, the first question is just to find out then what the value of y would be when x is 1.25 for this graph here. So if you substitute 1.25 in for x, what you should find you get to three decimal places as well is 1.601. Now in part b, we're being asked to use the trapezium rule to get a rough approximation then to this area R. So I'm assuming that you're familiar with the trapezium rule. If not, do check out my video tutorials on this. But as a quick reminder, if you've got a curve and you want to get the approximate area underneath it and you split your area up into strips, then if the width of each strip is exactly the same, then the area is approximately then the width of a strip divided by two and then you just multiply it by the first height, okay, that would be this value here, plus twice the sum of all the middle heights, that would be twice the sum of these values, plus the last height, that would be that one there. So if we do this formula then, what we're going to find we get is that the area shaded, which was R, is going to be approximately then the width of a strip. Now we can see what the width of the strip is going to be just by looking at the difference between the x values. They're all exactly the same and they should always be that in the table. And in this table the width is 0.25. They go up in steps of 0.25. So it's 0.25 divided by 2, half the width then, and we multiply this by the first height which is one point. 414 and then it's plus twice the sum of all the middle heights that's these three here so that's 1.601 plus 1.803 plus 2.016 close the bracket there and then it's plus the last height 2.236 and so that's our trapezium rule for working out the area R. So it's just a question of getting on your calculator and working this out and you should find you get 1.81125 but we're asked to give this to two decimal places so to two decimal places the area R is 1.81 okay and we'll just put 2dp there.